In sync licensing, you will often get rejection and criticism. Now, you can't take these things personally. So just like in life in general, people are going to criticize you. People are going to talk about you. But you have to learn to just shrug it off. It's not personal. At the end of the day, the sync licensing is still a business. I was scrolling YouTube and I came across Bolo, the producer who made a community post. And he was talking about his frustration with his live beat reviews. Let me show you what he said. I think I might pause on the beat reviews after this one. Some of y'all producers are too sensitive for me. I can't keep addressing disgruntled producers who feel like I'm supposed to like every beat they make. This way, y'all can go to someone else's platform and get a taste of how others will treat you. Y'all won't believe some of the emails I get. And I read that and I thought, oh, this would be a great topic because you're going to get rejected and you're going to get criticism when you're first starting off. And even if you're a veteran in the game of working in sync licensing, let me say my own story. So recently I just got finished making about seven albums in two months and it was a lot, man. I was just working every day and it was just one album in my heart. I just wasn't feeling it, but I always say to myself, I got to finish an album, 10 tracks, it just keeps me in the habit of making albums and finishing songs. And then my publisher said, ah, we're going to pass on the album. This ain't the quality we expect. And at my stage now, I didn't worry about it. I just said, OK, that's fine. And the publisher also said, well, you've already submitted so many tracks in the past and I know you'll still do good. This one just wasn't that great. So, hey. I've learned to take the criticism over the years. And even though this album got rejected by this publisher, look at the upside. I still have an album. It's all finished. It's mixed and mastered. Everything is ready to go. So if I get into a new library or something, they might want this music accepted and it can have the potential to get placements. And I've already done the upfront work. So you can't really beat that. But I do remember when I first started trying to make tracks for sync licensing and working for my mentor, almost every track I would send them, always something bad about it. And I was like, I was getting frustrated because I'm like, wait a minute, my, I know these are good. I know they're good. But see, this is where it doesn't matter. And this is where I want you to change your mind frame of what you think is good. Now, it could be good to you, but you're not. You're only thinking about yourself. Put it that way. You have to think about the people on the other end. So let's take sync licensing. So it's not just you and your music. Above you, you have one other layer. You have your music publisher. So you have to appease them and what they do. And then above the publisher, they answer to someone too which may be a music supervisor, or an editor, or whoever is working on the show. So you have at the top of the hierarchy, the show. But when you're making your music, especially starting out, you're not thinking about the show's needs. You're only thinking about what you need making the best beat. Well, we start at the top of the food chain with the show. Now, the music supervisor has to pick music. So they pick music from the music publisher. Now, if the music supervisor consistently doesn't deliver on great music for the show, what you think going to happen to that supervisor? They might not have a job very long. So the supervisor, you know, put puts invisible pressure on the music publisher to say, hey, where are your quality tracks? I only want quality tracks that I know will work. Right. So now now we're at the music publisher stage. Now we move to you making the music. Now, the music publisher needs to say, I need quality tracks because my boss, the music supervisor of the show, is looking for quality tracks. And again, what you think is going to happen to the music publisher if they don't get songs placed? The publisher goes out of business. You no longer have a possibility of income. The music publisher doesn't have a possibility of income. And now it's a zero sum game. Y'all all lose because you couldn't take criticism. But see, that's where I want you to change your mind. You have to think about those layers. It's not about you. 
And in the case of Bolo reviewing beats, he's trying to help you get better. You have to think about his perspective, too. Now, I don't know him personally, but I'm going to apply the same logic like I did with the TV show. He has to answer to someone, right, whether it be an artist or a label or company. So if he keep picking bad beats and sending them to artists, artists may eventually say, uh, if I see an email from Bolo or, or a folder of beats, I'm not going to even waste my time because he hasn't been sending me no heat. Right. So he has to criticize from his perspective of what he thinks is going to work for someone else. His boss, his artist, the label or something else. So it's not personal. It's all business is always someone else's perspective. And right. And just because he's giving you this criticism doesn't mean it won't work for somebody else. Right. And that's the same thing with sync licensing. Just like my album get rejected. It could work for someone else. You just never know. But these little criticisms help you get better and better and better. And you have to be able to take this because it's just a part of the game. One caveat that I would add, it depends on who you're getting the criticism and feedback from. I remember reading the book, The Richest Man in Babylon. It's a great book. You should really read it. But one of the lessons was the guy wanted advice about how to buy jewels because they want to sell jewels, something like that. But he went to the bread maker to ask for advice. And what ended up happening, the bread maker ripped them off because the bread maker doesn't know anything about making jewels. Now that's not to say the jewelry maker can't rip you off either because we know there's some people, they might be knowledgeable in their subject, but they still can rip you off too. But I'm saying where you get your criticism depends a lot if you're going to industry professionals music pub publishers supervisors editors someone who works directly with the music to get your criticism you might want to listen to them because they may have a better idea than you of you know what works with a scene what works well with dialogue what moves a scene along what sounds work well for this particular show does it fit the overall mood of the entire show see like I said, you have to rethink. It's not about you. It's about the whole package. The whole package. So if you're getting criticism from your friend who doesn't do anything music, uh, you might can take that with a grain of salt. I mean, they still can critique it and say it's good or bad because it's that's their real opinion. But make sure you're going to the right people for the right advice. So then the feedback can help you because feedback is good. I've seen my own growth working with my mentor, getting that feedback. And eventually the feedback started, it started decreasing because I got better. I understood and I started thinking from another person's perspective instead of just thinking, oh, I know this is going to hit. Now, it might hit for me, but it don't hit for them because I'm not looking at their viewpoint. I hope this video can help you rethink how you go about getting criticism and rejection because you will get it. There's been a lot of libraries that I haven't got into, right? There's a lot of tracks that I've sent that just got rejected, that just sit on my hard drive waiting for another library, another opportunity. So you have to learn to develop that thick skin to get past it. If you take anything else in this video, remember, it's still a business. You have to think about the other person first, not yourself. And if you want more tips about sync licensing, placing your music, how to structure your songs, yada, 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 check out one of these videos.